Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another honest review. Now I say welcome back, but I've actually not done one of these in about three months. So this is a completely new brand for me and a completely new hair product. This is Lush's Mr. Dandy Hair Candy. Now you'll be noticing, you're not in London, are you Robin? No, I'm not. I'm actually at home for Christmas in the northeast of Scotland, a little place called Forest. If you know it, then hello to you. Now guys, in my honest reviews, I go through several different factors to really work out, is this product worth the money? Does it do what it's supposed to? And how does it compare to others? So guys, I'm gonna go through what the product actually is, the ingredients, the packaging, the smell, the consistency, the ease of application, the styling, the finish, the price, comparing it to other products, and then finally, my verdict. And if I think you guys should give it your time of day and your money. Now guys, before I get going, if you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do hit that subscribe button right now. It just means you're gonna get all my style, grooming, lifestyle videos as soon as they go live. But here we go, Lush's Mr. Dandy Hair Candy. Now this is the first time I've ever featured Lush on my channel. Now Lush is a UK company. It's all about new animal testing, organic products, fresh ingredients. And it's one that I just haven't really ever taken on. This one is called Mr. Dandy's Hair Candy. Love a bit of rhyming there. This one says, hairdressing, Mr. Dandy gives good head. Winky face. Try this candy to build structure into finer flyaway hair. Now, I really was interested in this because you guys know, before I sort of style my hair, I always use a prep treatment to really boost that hair and prepare it for any styling. Now, looking at ingredients, this is what really sets Lush apart from other cosmetic brands out there. Now, I've made a note of kind of what it's got in here, but this is a vegan product. They don't test any of the finished products on animals. They also don't source any of those ingredients for suppliers that test on animals. Now, this is water-based, so it means we can get it out very easily. And it's also got 36 ingredients. Now guys, they have split their ingredients into natural ingredients and safe synthetics. So there's nothing there that should be bad for you. Now, one of the main ingredients just under that water is fresh banana, which is really great for skin and hair. They've also got almond oil, which is, again, very good for skin and hair, but this time kind of for hydration. They've got lime oil, which is really good for cleansing. Organic Brazil nut oil, which is great for moisturizing and conditioning. And then you've got a whole lot of other good stuff, citric acid, lime oil, rosewood oil, almond oil, you know, all of that good stuff. I did, however, note in here that it's got methyl paraben and propyl paraben, so those are parabens. But I've said before, guys, there's absolutely nothing at the moment linked exactly to say that parabens do cause cancer. But, you know, there has been some research that suggests that it might, but there's nothing solid. Now looking at the packaging, it's not massively exciting, but I feel like with Lush products, packaging doesn't really matter. Now this one does say it's not virgin, pot made from 100% recycled plastic, which really does give it a massive tick. And although not that great to look at, the fact that it is recycled is a plus. Now this smell is one of the first things that pulled me into this product. Now, it's got a couple of Lush signature scents in it. It's got oak moss, absolute, and also rosewood. But when I smelled it, you know, it smells really fresh, really botanical, and everything just smells really very good. It does have a sort of citrusy punch in it too, I think because of that lime oil. For consistency, this product is really very light quite creamy in texture. But you can see also when I rubbed it into my hands, I sort of overloaded my hands to show you this bit. When I clap, you can see the fiber particles coming off it. So it is a fibrous product. Because the product is so creamy and light, it's actually very easy to apply. You just need a tiny bit of that product into the hands, warm it up and work it into the hair. Now I'd recommend it so do Lush from the back to the front. And guys, it doesn't have stickiness to it, it doesn't feel heavy, and it does really coat the hair all through. Now you can use this as a pre-styler or as a styling product. If you wanna use it as a styling product, you can get it straight into dry hair, scrunch at the hair, just add a little bit more texture and definition. Or you can do as I've done and use it as a pre-styler. Now you can work it into damp hair and then grab your hair dryer and just blast at it to build a little bit more volume, a little bit more definition and really get it ready for whatever styling product you're gonna use. Now this product's got a matte finish and a light hold, which I actually really do like about it. So if you fancy having a down day for your hair like I've done here, then just a bit of this product is all that it needs. What I do really like about it is that it's given my hair a real boost and just really plumped it so it means I can wear my hair down and not feel like you can see right into the scalp. It has just really sort of made that hair look thicker. Or you can then use a styling product like maybe a bit of clay or putty just to go into whatever usual hairstyle you'll go with. 
Now for price, I actually think this is quite pricey for what it is. You know, it's 12 95 for 100 grams or 24 95 for 240 grams. Now I realize that, like with organic foods, they're always far more expensive because you're paying for those natural ingredients. You're paying for it not to have all those bad synthetics in it. But really, I think it's expensive. And I think there are other products which kind of do a similar thing to it. But really for this and with Lush all over, if you want those organic ingredients, if you want to ensure that it's not being tested on animals, you want vegan products, you want fresh ingredients, and you want to know who's made it, thank you Martin, then Lush is the kind of way forward. Now I've been comparing this product to various other ones. I've been comparing it to the Label M's grooming cream because I've used it in a very similar way to kind of prep the hair and get it ready for whatever else I'm going to do. But also, I think you can look at it in a sort of similar way as something like a sea salt spray or a texture spray just because you're going to get that bit of texture and definition without giving it too much weight. But guys, verdict, would I recommend this? Um, do you know what? Yeah, I would. I've enjoyed using this and I'm going to continue to use it. I think it's been really good to sort of plump my hair, give it more fullness and body, but without weighing it down or making it feel sticky. You know, I really do have fine flyaway hair, so, I mean, looking at it now, it just looks a lot more full, but still very natural. I also think that, you know, you can use this in so many different ways, it's very versatile as a pre-styler or a texturizer, so many ways to use it. So if you're the kind of girl or guy that's got the money to spend, you want to give it a go, give it a go. But if you're someone that's maybe more under a budget, then guys, you don't need this, you really don't. I think there are other products out there that do maybe not quite as good a job in terms of the ingredients and kind of how versatile it is, but I'll link a few down below, you know, pre-stylers or stuff in terms of texturizers, and there are a few things you can try. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe and join my channel. It is up there. Also, more video suggestions down there, and also a link to my blog. There's loads going on here. But guys, I'm not going to see you on Sunday. I'm giving you Sunday off to spend Christmas with your friends or family, or just have a lovely day if you don't celebrate Christmas. But guys, I'm going to see you in my next new one, which will be Thursday. Bye-bye.